Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm sorry that there was nothing on Friday. We couldn't do Yakuza last week. We just, uh, something just came up and I just had to go take care of it. It was kind of a private, important issue. But it wasn't anything too serious, so that's why we're doing this tonight. So, hope you're all doing well. I honestly forgot this was actually going to be a thing, and I remember liking Monster Hunter World a lot, so of course I have to take a look at it. Hi, hey, Moon. Yeah, read all that stuff. All right. Uh, play. You can only take a number of uh, quest times in the demo. Number remaining is 30. Online play will be disabled after the trial period to play the demo, at which point you'll have to use local play. Okay. I doubt I'm even going to be able to do online stuff. Maybe if, I, if there's, like, random stuff, I might take a look and see how the online in this game is, but I don't know. All right, there's multiplayer, let's see, eShop, manual, I'm guessing that's if you just want to buy the game itself. Uh, let's look at options real quick. All right, um, uh, auto saves, good, settings, good, text is good, privacy, okay. All right, we'll play solo a little bit and then maybe play some multiplayer afterwards. All right, so Slay, let's see. That's cool looking monster design, basic training quest, river and riding. Oh, you can ride monsters in this game? Alright, might as well. I need to actually refresh my skills in Monster Hunter because it's been a long time since I've played any of the Monster Hunter games. Alright, let's see. We got the Greatsword user, Longsword users, Sword and Shield. My, my personal favorite, the Twin Blade user. That's basically what my Monster Hunter main was when I played World. And you got the Hammer user with a really weird looking outfit. I don't know why he, he really looks like a Chocobo in this game. Let's see. That's the Hunting Horn. I never, ever in my time understood how to use the Hunting Horn properly. And I, I was garbage at it. Let's see. That's the Lancer. I... Vaguely remember using the Lancer a bit, but it's a little too slow and tanky for my likes. I like uh, being fast and hitting hard. We got the bow user. Uh, I never really could get into bows either. Mainly ranged combat in Monster Hunter. I, I just, I, it's just wasn't never my thing. I tried it a bit with the, the bow gun and the heavy bow gun and the bow itself. Actually, that's a pretty cool design for the, the bow gun or the heavy bow gun user though. But I just never really could get into ranged combat. Lipo gun, eh, standard. Insect glaive was another thing I could never understand how to use properly. It's just like, okay, you need to build stuff up with the insect glaive, and then you use the bug to get buffs and stuff. Honestly, I never could figure it out. Charge blade, I remember being okay with when I played World, but, eh. Switch axe, I remember actually being pretty good with as well. Uh, I think that was like my third uh, favorite weapon to use in Monster Hunter. The gun lance, uh, I tried it because it sounded cool, but like the lancer, just too slow, too bulky for my liking. So I think I'll stick with the my favorite, which is the dual blade user. Yo, Ace, what's up? Accept my challenge, huh? Nice! Come over here and we'll get started. Almost sounded like Captain Falcon there for a second. Congrats again on making Hunter. A whole new life awaits. Heh, I can see it in your eyes and that you're ready to thrash, but let's do a little quest refresher first, cool? Let's start with our camp here. This is your tent. Here, you can charge. Uh, you can change your equipment and weapons, or organize your items. If you want to bail in your current loadout, you're free to switch to your gear. Switch your gear inside. Some features have been restricted for this demo. That over there is a supply box. It's full of useful items that will aid during your quest. And everything in there is provided by the guild, so feel free to take whatever you want. 
And that's it for the camp. Let's move on to the next part. I'll meet you down by the river past that ledge. If you get lost, just look for my icon on the map. Get a map at the bottom of the left. Uh, check the locations of things in the areas. Triangles indicate players' current location. White tent symbols are camps, monsters, buddies, traps are placed items, as well as several tra uh, trails are displayed here too. Quest objectives are also denoted during special quests. Press L to zoom in on the map to view uh, endemic life, gathering points, and other icon categories specified in the detailed map settings. Note this can reconfigure in options. Okay. You can view a detailed map from the start menu. The detailed map displays precise locations of life and gathering points and allows you to show or hide items based on category. You can also toggle the display of this map. Press X on the detailed map to open the icon list, and that's just basically the... It gives you, like, the rundown of what everything means. Okay. We'll see ya. Alright, uh, let's see. So we've got the item box, uh, the buddy board. I think that's to call in uh, multiplayer friends, or maybe that's to call in, like, palicos or something. Let's see. Can we make anything? No, we cannot. Kind of makes sense. I might as well just go to the... To the item box real quick. Let's do this. Put away your weapon, please. All right, let's take everything we got. Even though I technically don't need the ammo, I might as well. By pressing A, you can harvest nearby plants, nuts, bugs, mushrooms, bones, honey, and spider webs. Pressing A near an, uh, mining outcrops will allow you to mine them. Oops, there we go. Uh-oh. Where am I going? I gotta say, this actually looks really nice. I think Monster Hunter uh, World looks a little bit nicer than this, but this is still really pretty. Hey, up here. Alright, let's talk wire bugs. These uh, bodacious bugs are a must for any hunt. Use them right and you'll be able to zip around to pretty much anywhere you want to go, even on top of this boulder. Give it a shot. A variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. Perform rapid aerial maneuvers with the wire dash, or, uh, whip out weapon specific gambits with sink bind or silk bind or ring composure in wirefall. An exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time and then can be used again. The degree of consumption and time needed to recover varies for every action. Capturing a wild wire bug will temporarily increase the gauge by one. A technique commonly used by Kimura hunters. Use the wire bug to zip through the air quickly and reach your target while holding ZL. Press X to move ver vertically. Press A to move forward and press ZR to move where you'll be aiming. Wire dashes can be sequenced or can initiate wall running if facing a wall. Each weapon has its own unique so skill bind action using a wire bug. These cannot be used with your weapon sheath. To use it, draw your weapon, hold Z, uh, ZL or R, then press uh, X or A. Each weapon type has its own skill, so experiment is recommended. Hanging in there? Hey, look at that. You're a natural. Next, let's talk buddies. Today I brought my Palico and uh, Palam uh, Palamute uh, Flash and Ramble with me. They'll be lending you a paw for this part of the training. First, try to uh, mount, try Mountain Ramble, my Palamute. <laughs> Palamutes are swift as the wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking buddy. I'll be waiting for you up the trail. Meet me there. When accompanied by a Palamute, you'll have access to Let Me Ride command, allowing you for rapid transport within a locale. Hop on your Palamute and uh, arrive at a destination in no time. 
There are two ways to ride a Palamute. Hold down A when near a Palamute. It should let me ride command in your action bar. Try it out. Riding a Palamute is a great way to get around faster. Cover your items. Uh, wheat stones and other items can be used while riding. Riding the slit with Y. Okay. Give it a try. Oh, you actually have to hold it down a bit. Oops. Good to see you. Hey, check this out. A yellow uh, spirit bird. If you touch one, its pollen will enhance you with a good luck charm. You're wearing your uh, petalets. When this happens, the scent of pollen surrounds your pe uh, petalets and boosts your stats. Since this little guy is yellow, it'll increase your stamina. Similarly, spirit, bird, or, yeah, spirit birds of other colors will boost other stats. Pretty gnarly, if you ask me. The effect is only active during the current quest, but you can be sure as shurikens that they are worth using. Mm. Oh, and that's a cloth fly over there. Cloth flies are one of the many creatures you'll come across in the field. We call these little guys endemic life. Hey, dragon. <laughs> the powder of these floaty friends uh, spray can boost your defense. <laughs> While other life out there to boost your hunts in different ways. Have a look around for other life. And play around with them and see what kind of effects they have. Okay, just a bit more. Follow me. I don't know what that thing on the right is, but I want it and I want to pet it. It refers to broadly all small life forms that inhabit an area. Some life can be used like items to provide a lasting buffs during your quest. These include perma buffs and hunting helpers, which can come in handy when used effectively. And some of these life forms are rather rare and potent. They are worth seeking out. Oh dear. Oh, no, don't drink the potion. Uh, how do I get off this thing? Uh-oh, uh-oh, someone stop this crazy thing. Attention, please. What's this? Is this dream buffering for anyone else? Uh, no, it doesn't look like we dropped any frames, so uh, maybe lower the quality that might help Dragon. Right on, Ace. Got the hand of writing Palamuts already. Mm. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. Uh -huh. And you can even tell them to attack when you're riding them. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Mm. Looks like we got ourselves some monsters nearby. We do. How are your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out in the field. Are you ready? Let's head up that way. It's time to really get the show on the road. How do we get off? Green bar is your health gauge. Uh, okay, basically. Uh, yellow bar stamina. Uh, let's see. Coming in contact with a Spriber during the quest will increase your maximum health and stamina. The amount uh, by which increases based on the pedalist you have equipped. Okay, it's B. Not really a pack of Zuchi. Alright, there's three of them. Go take them out for me. Don't hold back just because they're small now. You can be skillful. Uh, they can be skillful and ruthless. Just remember your training and you'll be golden. Now, ready your weapon nice and steady and take them down one attack at a time. Alright, X to draw, X ray to attack. Don't forget to carve and harvest the materials from monsters. They can be used to upgrade at the smithy. Well, you're darn carving. Come see me. That's my ace. Oh, 
want some honey first. There they are. I'll help myself, thank you. He yeah, was very adamant on get me to play Monster Hunter, but I've been told him multiple times it's not your kind of game. I can understand that. Uh, Monster Hunter is kind of a very... Well, depending on how you play it and if you're playing online or not, uh, it can be a very slow game. Let me get my defense up real quick. And what do you do? Oh, Wirebug. I'll take that. get our attack up as well, because I feel like those little guys aren't going to be the only thing we're going to be fighting out here. Just as I, as I expected from my star pupil, oh, that is an incredible hunt. If there's something you could have done better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. <laughs> now then, let's head back to camp, and looks like we're kind of far away from it. But no big deal. Use your fast travel, and you'll be back at camp in no time. I'm going to go ahead. See you there. Nope. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I forgot about the dumb stickers that's in Monster Hunter. They always were great. Chill. All right, let's see. We got a greedy nod wave. Stop, 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 stop. Let's see, detailed info, let's see, return for the quest, hunter info, hunter notes, it said press minus. There we go. I've been waiting for you. Congrats, you beat the basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you into the field as a full-fledged hunter. You've learned well, but keep in mind, other Fungin and I expect much from you. Mm -hmm. Or Elder Fujin, sorry. If you ever feel like going over your basic training, all you need to do is accept this quest again. I'm <laughs> joining. It didn't go. It didn't further the plot at all. <laughs> yeah, VR chat's a pretty, like. Pretty, like. Interesting game, I guess is the best word for me to say. Like, it's a class of all its own, and I don't know if it's my thing, to be honest. But I heard there's, like, some, like, uh, cool, like, mods or rooms in that game. It's like, uh, apparently there's, like, a full-fledged Among Us room that you can do and do it, like, all in 3D and such, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, if there's someone you want to talk to about VR chat stuff, uh, talk to Tamo about it because she sure knows a lot about it. All right, I think we can take care of some monsters. And let's go with, I'll go with the long sword user this time. I remember the longsword user being, like, my second favorite class of the game. Alright. Let's head out. So what I can get from this game is basically instead of like straight up going after the monsters and such, you want to go for like any of the small insects that you find. And also the uh, stuff you get around here. But you really want to go for the small bugs and small creatures to help get buffs before you even go find the monster. 
such as you. Because they also uh, boost you throughout the entirety of this hunt, so it's best to just do that. Of course, I got dung. That's not it. Oh, I did mean to attack that thing. Ah, wrong button. Again. Mr. Krabs running around with a plague doctor going Sponge Boy me Bob to people's VR experience. <laughs> okay, so that's how you access, uh, access it. Throwing kunai. Oops. I think there was a lock on button in this. I don't remember though. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, look at these things. They're so adorable. Wow. Is that? Yep, that's it. These are the hunting bases. All right, so there's uh, that. Still need to know the basics of this game. Need some help. exactly what I'm supposed to be doing there. I guess maybe it's like a counter-attack. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, let's... I think I can swap out weapons. Let me change my class.
Okay, maybe not. Yeah, you talked about the mountain climbing game you had. Pay attention to your stamina. Let's see, Wheatstone. Weapon condition is good. I might as well eat something. There you are. Now, I remember that the the long sword user could like do a, like a, a climb attack. Okay, time need a potion. Oh no, you killed the I forget what the saying is. Something, anything, nothing. Great. Nope, that's not it. There it is. It is a counterattack. And I need a potion again. Oh, something broke off. Get after it. Yep, now he's running. Grab the material real quick and then let's head out. To get a game called Moss. It's pretty cool to play puzzle platform in VR. Hmm. I think I've heard of that game. Uh oh. Oh, you're just one of those things, but bigger. I thought that was like a, a like a normal sized Jaggy or something.
Oh, big guy ran. Oh, yep, there he goes. Ooh, this thing hits. I'll take that gladly. Durability's going down great. Uh oh, nope, get away from me. Now let's go back for him. Yeah. Once again, missed. Oh, that would have been the perfect time to use it. Got him. All done. I'll put this to good use. Nothing personal. Oh, yeah. I forgot with the bigger monsters, you can actually harvest them multiple times. It's an ear splitting sonic blast when ruptured. So that's basically the gist of the game. You hunt monsters, you, you hunt monsters that make like special weapons and special armor. Some weapons are better against certain monsters, and I believe uh, there should be a. a As well do that real quick. I believe that there should be a like a bestiary that actually gives you more details on like where you want to hit the monster to do more damage, or what kind of element the monster is weak to, or if it can be poisoned, or if it has any like special weaknesses for it. Mm, I think I'll just get it physical. Uh, let's, uh, let's fight this thing. Alright, uh, I'll let the chat decide, uh, what, uh, hunter we should play as this time. I'll take the first choice that, uh, someone suggests. Dual blades. All right, back to dual blades. It is. What a waste, dragon! What a waste. Oh, I hope people like the new designs for A, the channel, and B, the new uh, sub-badges. Because I think they both uh, came out looking pretty well. I 
Alright, what was, how did you activate demon mode? There it is. Alright, I'm gonna guess that the thing over by the big pond over there is the monster that we need to go after. So, let me just go, real quick go and grab our supplies and then we'll head out. Nullberry, Mysterious Berry that cures blights and resistance down. We removes any foam or webbing from your body. So I'm gonna guess that's important for when we have to fight the monster. I believe that's ammunition. Okay, so that's how you, uh, like, select stuff. Alright, there's a... Oh, and don't don't press R. Definitely do not press R. Light powder, well done steak, antidote, max potion. Uh, you know what? Let's go and get ourselves our shock trap. Or, no, shock traps are only for, like, weakened monsters to capture them. Because I think you actually do get a lot more, like, uh, materials from the monster if you're able to take it alive. Looks useful. Alright, uh, let's head up... Actually, let's grab whatever bugs we can find. Such as you. And you. Get our defense up a bit. Real quick. Okay, I guess not. I thought the Palico would actually do something, but I guess they're just walking around. I remember that there were Palicos out in the field in Monster Hunter World, but I don't remember exactly what they did. I think they were just uh, the show's secrets or something. Or maybe they were collectibles. Again, it's been a long time since I played anything Monster Hunt! It's a Rathalos! That's a Rathalos! Well, we know the monster I was looking for wasn't there, but he is coming back down this way, so let's just turn right around. Ooh, there's a bug right there. I'm just going to grab that real quick, get our, get our health up. Yep, there it is. I knew it. Not good. Don't know why that one was green. Maybe that one actually is the one you want to go for. Right, don't dodge when you're drinking potions, because that actually cancels it. Alright, looks like his head is his weak point. 
head and tail from the looks of it because I think when it goes orange like that, that means you're actually hitting the weak points. Speaking of weak points, I need to heal up real quick. It's not running yet. The best thing for dual blade users I remember was you need to get them at like a hill or something, then you can just straight up Beyblade yourself down the monster. Damper on your stamina. Or a dash or use. Alright, easy enough. Oh! Okay. going all the, way, all the way up to six. Uh, can I even... I guess maybe I can use the wire dash to get up there. We'll see. Let's see any... Oh, wait, there's vines. Never mind. Yeah, we can just run away up here. Was right. Do I have cleanser? There it is. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. 
Okay, I actually do really dig the, the Wyvern Ride uh, mechanic in this game. Although, I think I'm stuck. Oh, I can write this thing. Leave this monster to me. I think you've had enough. Oh, now the other one wants to get into the fight. I didn't have no stamina for that one. It's nice to see Scott just chowing down in the middle of this fight. Don't let us interrupt your meal, Scott. Don't worry, we got this. Almost got it. Can't fight on an empty stomach. I mean, you're technically not wrong there, Dragon, which is why I probably should eat something. Oh, he's running. Yeah. Oh, we can't follow it through here. Oh, it's going all the way up there. Okay. I'm going to guess this is a one-way trip. Nope, nope, we can go up this. I figured the way this was going, it, it was just a quick way to get back down there. Oh, so many of them here. Uh, how? I guess maybe wire... Ah, oh, there it is. Never mind. Those aren't, uh, hmm. Okay, uh, let's go, there you are. Actually, real quick, I probably should have healed before I went into this fight. Alright, now let's go. For the host dragon. Ow. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. The worst part about this, I think that Rathalos is making its way up towards us. I see that question mark moving.
Oh, oh, we staggered it. All right, Rathalos is going away. This is no time for puns, Scott. Uh oh. How was it I was able to throw bombs? Stores some stamina when picked up and can be stored. Okay. Finally, that was the move I wanted to do. Oh, damn it. Quest info, detailed map, point tools, see the hunter info, see game controls, player, uh, no, not that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, Leviathan with the sleek. Uh, the Thine Bonnies creates uh, peculiar form that covers foes and mobilizing bubbles. Once the prey's movement is impaired, it closes in with a spray, dance like movements. Oh, that's not a Rathlos, that's a Rathian. Alright, doesn't I guess we technically do need to kill it before we actually do get like notes on where we need to hit it and what what it's weak to. All right, let's see. Double slash, lightning strike, uh, XA blade dance, and demon mode. Demon mode cancel. Demon gauge fills up. Hit, landed in a demon mode. The pleats over time completely fill to enter arch demon mode. get it off this time. Ooh, 
Okay, where's that potion? Guys, keep its attention over there. Nice, got the trap. Alright, that kind of worked. This colors change? Maybe that means we're finally wearing it down. Okay. Uh, no, it's it's more of a, a modern day to the Monster Hunter world. It's really dumb, but I've heard it's an enjoyable dumb. All right. Uh, let's check out multiplayer. Play multiplayer, you get enter messages in the chat. Okay, uh, play online, find a lobby, do that, and let's see what we find. We'll probably do one of these and then we'll call it here. Sure, we'll go with that one. No. 
Yeah, of course. Alright, let's try and create a lobby. A passcode, do that. I'll go back to being a longsword user. Alright, let's see how multiplayer is. I need to remember weapon controls for the longsword. Okay, overhead, thrust, uh, attack while moving, spirit blade, ZR, foresight slash, ZR, after an attack, special sheath. Okay. Okay, kids, I can't do anything with those. Listen up. We saw that spray special pheromones that attracts monsters. Okay. You can sound uh, restorative mist when used. Okay. Oh, oh dear. I'm just going to take a whole snake with me. I 
I have no idea what Digi is doing. Going over and pissing off the Rathalos again, or the whatever it was. I just need to let go of the button and it will shoot me there. No, I don't, I don't understand it at all. I might as well see what Digi is doing. Can't take that thing on alone. Some of your parts. Nothing personal. Oh wait, did my uh, my partner's just straight up gone? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a nice little trap for the monster. We'll get that. Up, we'll go down to six, and that's where we'll start setting things up. Let me just grab whatever I can from here. Grab this real quick. Although that's ammunition, so I don't really have a use for it. All right, let's see. Max potion, antidote. Well done, stick. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab ourselves a stick real quick. Just set up our... No, don't drink the potion, you idiot. Set the bombs.
wants a big one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shock trap. Oh, I think it's because I'm accidentally pressing the right stick when I'm going uh, through this stuff. Going all the way to ten now. I can't pick bombs back up, can I? No, I can't. Of course not. All right, guess I'm just gonna have to lead it the hard way. No, you don't. Where are you? Oh, you're going to six. Nice. Do I use, record using the Elgato? Yes, I do. All right. Well, in that case, uh, let's get our throwing knives out so we can set off that trap. top of the bomb. Nope. Nope. You get over here. Where did he Oh, he's going to fight the other one. Okay, so now I'm getting a, a better understanding. Uh, use the, the the special evade thing so that we can keep uh, hitting it with com uh, combos. I don't think it took kindly to me attacking it like that.
Where is that thing going? Nice. Ah, damn it. Uh, there should be like a, a manual or something that will link it to uh, the recording software, Dragon. Let's just take everything. Take all the cleanser. All right, we're good. What's coming down here? There it is. Ah, damn it. Glens! Glens! I'm too slippery! button again. I meant to go flying above him. He's getting tired, which means we're almost done. There we go. That's what I wanted.
poke. Almost got him. Uh oh, change colors. That's not good. Oh, he's running. That thing has to be on its last legs. Just need to get a good couple of hits in, get my sword all the way charged up, and then we should be good to take it out. Damn it, I thought I could get the counter off. Um, excuse me, what? Oh. <clears throat> Damn it, I need to get that counter off on him. Good thing I got that heal. Don't know why I did that. That's what I wanted.
try to get that counter off. Oh, he stumbled. I really wish that thing would stop running. Keeps running, jeez. Let's see if they'll fight. So he pops when it dies, require a uh, craft cleanser. Oh yeah, I never chased this thing up there, so... It's probably a good thing that I... Uh, came up here. If it's up there, that must be like its final fighting place. It'd make the most sense because sometimes monsters do retreat to like a, a, a final stand area. You got an account item. charge. Eh, okay, I can't get that. Give me the snake. Give me the honey. Let's craft. I uh, can't make anything decent. Uh-oh! Watch out the back up. I got an idea. Come on, come over here. Gotcha. Okay, so the green bubbles actually do heal you. That's why I thought it, they did, but I didn't want it to, to get hit by them and realize, oh no, it gives you an even worse status effect. Damn it. I'm gonna guess red hurts you a lot.
Give me the health. Go, snake. I get that this is an intermediate monster to fight, but geez, this thing sure does love to run. Hope I find something good. Oh, that did something. Oh, I think that increased attack. Alright, I can do some strong attacks now. Thank you, Dragon, for gifting a sub to my bot. Alright, now's the time. And then wasting the troops, of course. Oh, no wonder I'm not doing a whole lot of damage now. My weapon's getting dull. That thing has to be close to death. Moon, why? Where is... There he is. Oh, we actually cut off a, a piece of its head. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I'm all slippery now. Cleanse. Cleanse. Ooh. Damn it. Should have cu countered. Where? There he is. Well, the thing with the uh, with the monster, I think uh, it's just you start seeing it get more worn out as the fight goes on. But this is a, a like a tougher monster. This is more uh, akin to multiplayer. But it's like they'll go down a lot faster once you learn their weaknesses and you uh, are able to get like better equipment. But man, this fight's kind of dragging on for quite a while now. 
We have to be doing something because we are we are chopping body parts off of it. Uh oh. Uh, no, 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 ah, damn it. Well, all that was for nothing. Yeah. All right, uh, let's, let me see if I can do one more multiplayer thing and then we'll, we'll try it one more time. I feel like we we had it like on the ropes there. All right, let's see if we can get at least more than two. Like maybe three or four hundreds, that'd be great. But if it's only two, we might have to well, deal with it. We got thirty seconds. See if I can I so can I do three lands fed if I can pressure prey heavy bombardments X mode for fluid mobility and a hefty single hit sword mode for quicker strikes Time mobility, fire arc shots that cover for allies. Eh, you know what? I'll go with sword. Alright, this time we got it for sure. Everyone gets the dog. No one loves the Palicos anymore. Too far away from the rest of the group. Yeah. Alright, it's all the way up at the very top of the of the river. Grab a snake.
something got broken off. mud in the ball when thrown the ball is imbued with a water element. Probably not good against this monster, though. Ooh! Oh, you kind of Rathalos. You got the the insect glaive, I think that's what's no not the insect glaive, the the battle horn. I have no idea what's going on. We're just smashing everything inside. Oh, God. Time to go. Uh, let's see. Let me get... Oh, I don't have any big bombs with me. Never mind then. Well, that was a failure. Fireblade keep taking damage and scare easily. Ah, damn it. No. I'm not giving up yet. Oh, did they kill the mon oh, they better not have killed the monster. No, they're still fighting it. I think they just either got a buff or a healing buff. So many things flashing on the screen, I don't know what any of them mean. I hope they broke something off it.
Got him. I think I got a thunder trap some wait there it is. Guess not. Tail, get the tail. Ah, damn it. Probably should have gotten that counter up. That. Sweet. Sweet dreams, monster. Ah, damn it. Too soon. Definitely way too soon. Alright, scrubbing bubbles. That's enough.
Got him. Nice. Hooray, we beat it. Hooray, we did it. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that we finally defeated that monster, uh, that's what we're going to call it for tonight, because it's almost midnight. We actually went longer than I thought we were going to be going for. I thought it was going to be like an hour and a half. We went for just under two hours. But yeah, um, I'm enjoying this. I might pick it up when it comes out next month. Or next month. Uh, two months from now. But we'll see. Uh, probably we'll play a little bit more of this offline, just see if I can get get the hand of Monster Hunter again. If so, then, yeah, we might turn this into a thing after we get done with Gears. If not, then, eh, eh Monster Hunter just wasn't the game for me. But alright, uh, let's go to intermission real quick. Alright, uh, let us see if there's anyone streaming right now that we can send a small raid to. And, of course, there isn't. But there's a lot of people playing Monster Hunter right now, though. That is for certain. Just started, so we might as well send a raid his way. Uh, let's go raid Mayo. All right, everybody. Uh, there might be a stream either tomorrow or on Tuesday. It's just going to depend on if a I'm feeling up for it because today was kind of draining even for me right now. And B, if what I have planned actually arrives on time. If it does, then the stream will be a go. If not, then it might have to be pushed back to Tuesday. But yeah. Uh, otherwise, same schedule as it was last week, except for the fact that we will be doing Yakuza Friday. So Gears will be Wednesday. Uh, we'll continue Warhammer on Thursday. Maybe finish it up. I don't know how far we in are into the game, but maybe we're, we pass like the halfway point or something. Uh, and Yakuza 0 will be on Friday. Uh, let's see. Alright. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna try to get some of the past VODs from the past couple of weeks up on the YouTube channel. And also work on getting the Sly video out. I'm hoping to get it out this week. I know I said I was going to try and get it out during uh, the weekend, but unfortunately some things came up. And also, you know, GDQ kind of got my attention away from work for too long. But yeah, uh, that's basically the schedule for the week. I'll probably be posting the the first ga the game clearing VOD on tomorrow. I'm going to actually get it uploaded as soon as I go up. Uh, no, I'll probably get it up on Tuesday. All right. Uh, other than that, that's all I have to say. Uh, hope you all had fun. Hope you all enjoyed Monster Hunter. I will see you all either Monday, Tuesday, or definitely on Wednesday. Good night, everybody.